Hi, this is McCoy Buck. In this section, I'm going to be talking about the basics of animation. So in order to animate in Moho and Anime Studio, uh, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know in order to know how to use the software, know how the animation works, and go through and talk about all the things pertaining to animation and showing you examples. Now, I want you to follow along because this is the best way that you're going to learn how to do this is by doing it yourself. So don't only just watch the video, but also apply what you're learning. So what I want you to do is go ahead and open up the folder that is called basics.moho. And in it, you're going to find two balls. You're going to find a blue ball and a purple ball. And with this, I'm already going to assume that you know how to design and rig. If not, be sure to check out my other courses on character design and character rigging. So these two balls are different from each other. They look the same, but as far as their rigging, they are different. So the first ball here, this blue ball, it doesn't have any bones or anything. However, the second ball does. As you can see, it's marked out with the, uh, the bone symbol there, whereas this one is just the folder. Inside of both these balls, just to break it down, is very simple. I just created a mask and I have a shadow, a highlight, and the base color. So now that we know that this ball is just a simple ball and it's just going to be moving with the, uh, the layer translation with this transform layer tool. And then the ball here with bones is going to be moving with the transform bone tool. Now let's go ahead to make it as simple as possible. Let's just start with one ball. So go ahead and hide the ball two and go ahead and select ball one. Now the next thing that I want you to do is come down here to your timeline. Now this is your animation timeline. Everything from frame one and beyond is going to be for animating. Frame zero is only going to be for designing. Always remember to keep that in mind. You can't or you shouldn't be drawing or creating new things uh, past frame one. Everything needs to be designed on frame zero. So on your animation timeline, this is where you can create keyframes. Now I want you to go ahead and do this. Uh, go ahead and with the ball selected, go to frame one and come up here to your position and hit reset. Now you can create this. This is called a keyframe. Uh, you can create this keyframe in one of two ways. You can either do it by resetting the position of the ball or let's go ahead and delete that, or simply clicking on the ball, making sure that the transform layer is selected and you'll know it is because it'll have this little binding box around it. Uh, that's how you know your transform layer is on. So the keyframe that we just made, uh, a keyframe represents a point in time at which you, the animator, made a modification to an object. So even though this ball hasn't moved, we've actually made a modification to the, the, the object. Uh, what we're doing is we're tracking where its position is, just like how we reset it right there. So we know this is the value of the position of this ball. Now, I don't want to get too technical uh, because I want to keep this as easy as possible for you to understand. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to drag the little timeline indicator over to frame 12. And I want you to do the same thing with it on frame 12. Go ahead and drag the ball up. Now, to drag it up in a perfectly straight line, uh, I want you to hold down shift. So click down shift on your keyboard and then uh, left click and then drag the ball up. So let's get to drag it up uh, pretty close to the top, not all the way to the top, but right about there. Now with your timeline indicator, just go ahead and drag that back and forth so you can see exactly what you animated. Now what we're going to be doing for this basics is we're going to be creating a ball bounce. I'm going to show you how to do it with the layer. And then I'm also going to show you how to do it with the bone ball. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, because we want to have this as a bounce and just a repeating bouncing ball, we need to bring it back to the ground. So I can do this in one of two ways. I can either click on my reset position because no matter where this ball is in this animation, I can always reset it back to its original position. Or the other thing that we can do, and I want you to get into this habit as well, is copy and pasting your keyframes. So we're going to use the keyboard shortcut, control C, control V. So go ahead and select the first keyframe, because remember, we're going to want to bring it back down to that original position. So hit control C, and then go to frame 24 and hit control V. OK, so now when we play this back, the ball is going to go up and then it's going to go, going to go down. But what we want to do so it doesn't go all the way end to here, as you can see, it plays out once and then it stops and then it just keeps going. We're going to create our start and end time for our keyframes. And to do that, all you're going to do is you're just going to go to frame 24, hold down alt on your keyboard and right click. 
or something else that you can do is right here where it says frame zero of 96. Uh, just simply enter in the, the, the amount of 24 frames. So now we're gonna be animating on 24 frames per second. Uh, one thing, just in case this has changed, what I want you to do is follow me, go up to file, uh, project settings, uh, what we want to make sure that we're doing, and I'll talk about this a little bit later, but just make sure that your frame rate is set to 24 frames. That means that you're animating on 24 frames per second. So as you can see here in this one second, we're animating 24 frames or 24 drawings of this ball. Okay, so that's it for now for this video. All we did is we just animated the ball. We talked about timeline and the keyframes and what those represent. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and animate the bouncing ball for the bones and talk about that. I'll see you there.